Hello everyone! Today I am going to show you how to make a project inspired by one of my favorite books, If the Dinosaurs Came Back. Now there are plenty of read-along videos of the books all over YouTube, so you're welcome to go find your own. If you're following us through Canvas, you've already watched a video. So today we're going to use some white paper, construction paper, and a black marker. You're also going to need scissors and glue. Let me move this one to the side. We're going to start by drawing our city. Our city is going to be made out of simple shapes, lines, rectangles, squares. We want to start by putting the road at the bottom because that's where the dinosaurs are going to walk. So with whatever kind of black marker or black colored pencil you have, go ahead and draw a line all the way across the bottom. Then you want to add whatever kind of road stripes you want. I like to just put some long rectangles in like that. We're going to put a line across right here with some short lines across it to make our sidewalk. There we go. Now we can start drawing our buildings. We're going to go all the way across with the shapes of our buildings first, then we'll come back to add our windows and doors and details. So your buildings can be simple or complicated however you want them to be. When we're working on this in class, we usually only spend one 40-minute class drawing our buildings, so we try to keep ours pretty simple. We start with some rectangles, sometimes we'll get a little fancy, with the tops of our buildings, but mostly we keep it pretty simple. Okay, then you can add doors and windows. When you're adding your doors and your windows, it's easier to do your windows side by side than to go straight up and down. We found over the years that we've done this project that when you try to make your windows up and down, people kind of make them crooked and they kind of drift across the page. But if we keep our windows side by side, it's usually easier to keep them nice and straight. Now remember, we're going to be adding a dinosaur to this. So we don't want too many details right here in the middle. So if you're having fun making your doors and things like that, just keep in mind that there's going to be some kind of dinosaur on top. I like to do all my doors before I finish all my windows. Okay, now let's see, some small windows and some big windows. I 
and we do want this to look like you drew it. So I'm not getting out a ruler or anything to help my lines be straight. I kind of like when they're a little bit different and hand drawn. Okay, now once you've got your buildings done, then you can decide what's going on at the top. Is it daytime? Is it nighttime? Is it raining or sunny? Is there a rainbow? Are there clouds? Are there satellites or spotlights? Is Batman standing on the corner? Is there a helicopter or an airplane flying through the sky? Take your time and really try and think of some fun and interesting things that could be happening on top of your building. I'm going to put a helicopter over here landing on this one and I'm just going to keep it kind of simple because my dinosaur is really going to be the star of the show. A little helicopter. Sometimes there's little flags so the helicopter can see where it's going. So it doesn't hit anything. It's not supposed to. Maybe there's some lights on this one. And some clouds. Maybe there's a satellite. Over here, another little pop. Okay, now I'm going to set my city to the side so that we can talk about dinosaurs. At the end of the book, there is a page full of all the different kinds of dinosaurs. And they're nice, simple outlines. So I've made a copy and I'm going to kind of put it to the side over here. You are welcome to pause the video and choose a dinosaur to draw on your page. And your dinosaur can go in any direction. You can It can be vertical or horizontal. I have some that I have traced and cut out in different shapes. So I have a little template here. You could also do that. You could have mom or dad help you and you could look up different dinosaurs and then print and cut one out and then trace it onto your construction paper. But if you're going to do that, make sure that you only trace the outline of the dinosaur. Now I'm going to move this. You can always go back and pause the video on that part to look at it. I'm going to trace mine just to speed the process along a little bit. Now, after you trace your dinosaur, then you can decorate it. You can make your dinosaur as silly or interesting as you want it to be. You can even add little teeth and claws because when we cut these out we're actually going to cut them out so that we can see a lot of those little details. I'm going to add some on my dinosaur, some stripy spikes on its back. OK, 
Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Now, when you cut out your dinosaur, it, instead of cutting on the line, I want you to cut your dinosaur out so that it's got a bubble around it. That's going to help us still be able to see all those little details that you did to decorate it, like your stripes and your teeth, scales, spikes, anything like that. So when I cut my dinosaur, I'm going to leave some of the space instead of trying to cut directly on the black lines. It'll also help give our dinosaur some stability because some of those dinosaurs have some really thin, delicate shapes to them. And if we put too many little skinny parts, it'll be hard for us to glue it down. Okay, I've got my city back. I'm going to flip my dinosaur over to the back and grab my glue stick. You can use whatever kind of glue you have. I just happen to have a glue stick. Now, if you are using a glue stick, you really want to make sure that you can see the glue going on to your dinosaur. So press down really good with that glue stick so that you can sh so that it shows up. And then just flip it over and you have a dinosaur walking right down your city street. I hope you have fun creating your dinosaur and I really hope you enjoyed this.